Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with a, I guess it's kind of a project share, not totally. Um, but basically I've been re-getting to know my Cricut again. And <clears throat> so I needed to, when I did that um, lay for my husband, I decided that maybe I can do some print and cut instead of like the layering ones because print and cut is a lot easier. You just have to print it from your printer. It creates the registration marks. And then you feed it into your Cricut and then voila, it makes all of the images, um, it cuts it so nicely. So <clears throat> anyway, um, so I, I kind of started because I needed to um, get some more Kero Kero P kind of die cuts. I wanted to share that with Fritzy um, in our swap. So I tried to look for as many Kero P um, images that I could find and um, import them into Cricut and then have them die cut. So th these are the ones that I got. So let's start with him. Look how cute he is. So this is this one I just made like a little bit bigger size. These are just like what I have left after I shared with Fritzy. Um, I also made some of these guys. I think he's so cute. He's all the same. And then this is like a smaller size and then he's wearing a different outfit. And then these two guys are eating. So this is the watermelon one. And then this is the musubi or the onigiri that he's eating, which is a rice ball. Um, and then this one is super cute. He's like a little cheerleader. There's another one I need to still cut, but these, it came with like all this confetti around it, which I didn't really need. Um, and I didn't use, so I didn't keep it, but um, it would be, it would be cute to use that as well. And then this one has, um, a little heart and then this one um, also had like confetti oh I just noticed now I wonder what happened to the other side of the box <laughs> I think well I don't know oh no it's just one side sorry Pff, I don't know what I'm talking about anyway he's jumping out of the present so those are all the <clears throat> kettle pea ones and then I also cut these out before I sent it to Fritzy so I bought some cut files um, from I think it's Overly, I think that's the name of the site, and um, one of them was the flowers. So I just got, I just made a variety of all the different Sanrio characters um, using that print and cut function. So when you buy this file, you get all of these. You don't just get like one character, you get all of the characters, which is kind of nice. Um, anyway, so that is that set. Okay, and then I bought more cut files, um, like on Etsy, along with digital paper. So I got this cinnamon roll, and then I got this one with the flower. So it looks like, looks like that. And then this one, um, I found on, just on Google. And I, I just really like how, when they put the, the ears in the bow, I think it's so cute. So I made this one a little bit bigger. And then I got some of my Melody. I think this one I had before, so I just recut it. This one is so cute. Look at her face. And then this one comes with a little bird, which I have on the side, but I didn't want to bring it out. But look how cute. And then I did some twin stars. Oh, see, these are the birds. This is the bird that comes with my Melody. And then these little pink birds come with the twin star image. So here's what the twin star one looks like. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love twin stars. And then here's their them with their bubblegum machine. And this one, they're just floating on the stars. And then I did do a few Hello Kitties by herself. I like that one because she's she's like laughing. And then this one, this one's a little daintier because the that small string for the balloon is very thin. Um, but I think I can still manage to use them. So super cute, right? She's like, she has her balloon and all the candies. <clears throat> okay, so those are like the regular images. And then I did more. And these are the majority of those I did. So I am <clears throat> I'm in, on the lookout for like Asian themed um, Sanrio characters or Japanese themed, I guess I should say. So I found a bunch on Google and so I've been trying to download and cut those as well because it's just really hard to find some of these characters because they're I don't I guess you could say that they're a little more obscure 
um, especially to find them in, like in a kimono type of outfit. I'm trying to like make it nice, but I don't know that you guys really care. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I didn't have it prepped ahead of time because I had the other ones out. Okay, so okay, look, she belongs with the other one. Okay, so I started with this one. I really love this image. She's so cute. Hello Kitty in a kimono. So I'm trying to find more of this style. Um, and then I found my melody that looks similar. She was like, it was weird. The first time I printed her, she looked all strange, like almost borderline horror film looking. Um, but I managed to do it again and it came out better. Um, and then I found this one where she has like a fan. A lot of times when they dance, they have the fan. So that's cute. I thought this one was super cute where she's sitting down in her kimono. <clears throat> and this one I might have to redo because I don't know why it cut out her ear look. I mean, it kind of looks okay. I can probably salvage it, but um, anyway, I liked it because she was in like a purple. She was in a different color from the other one. And then this one is the same one as the other one, but I just cut them smaller. So I had a little bit different sizes to play with. Um, I really like the Hello Kitty My Neki, My Neki Neko. So I cut some out of that. I found a cute Pachaco. See, so you got to just kind of look. <laughs> got lucky. I've been looking for a cinnamon roll. I haven't found a cinnamon roll yet in a kimono. Okay, and then, um, sorry, I found a bunch of twin stars, which I was super excited about because um, they're kind of hard to find. Okay, and then, sorry, I found this cute uh, My Melody. Okay, so that's all those. Okay, so the next set is twin stars. So this one is super cute. They look like they're going to go dance at the Obon. So I cut that one out. And then these, they're eating noodles, I believe. Yeah, so they're eating noodles. The um, the art, it looks more grainy and um, not as nice, the colors, but I still like it. So I still did it. Um, this one, they have like, okay, just scrub two. So one of them, the girl is holding the ball and the boy's holding the birds. Cute, right? And then the last um, set is the one with those paddles or fans. They're like wooden. See, that one cut out her sleeve, so I have to go back and see what I can do about that. Okay, so as you can see, I've been really busy um, trying to just get my stash built up again. Um, because it's again, it's really hard to find these types of images and dyes. So I had to resort to looking for the images online. So I'm glad I found some. Um, and I will be working with some of them shortly. And that's all I have to share with you this time. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.